at your age, at 35, looking forward, there's a very high chance that you're not going to live to normal life expectancy. His addiction is the worst I've seen ever in my life. Now I've got to know where my next meal is coming from. The minute I eat, I'm thinking about the next meal. Before that meal gets there, I'm eating a snack. He's in serious trouble. I want to be left alone! I think Ricky Wayne is depressed. I was the last one to see her alive, the first one to see her dead. I don't want my dad to have to bury me. And I don't want my kid to find me laid out somewhere. I want to do something about it now. And you need to take this very seriously. They're going to have a rude awakening. Just because you only eat eggs on the weekends means nothing. You know what you eat through the rest of the week? Crap! Crap! So if you want to dig your own grave, go ahead and dig it. I took one look at these people, and I'm like, wow. Over there. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty far gone. They're going to have to make a complete lifestyle change. I eat when I'm happy. I eat when I'm sad. I'm a food addict. Is it going to happen for everyone? <laughs> Come on, no more chocolate cake. You are going to make it to where you want to be. That depends on what's deep down for each of them. <laughs> Leave me alone! For the trampoline. Y'all, are you serious? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, <I'm not. laughs> I do feel my weight is a problem. It's a problem because I can't play with the kids like I want to. <laughs> Hang on a second. I got my breath. Okay. Jeez. Don't wear me out. My mom was very young when she had me, so my grandparents ended up taking care of me. So my grandmother, she made sure we had more than enough to eat, and we had dessert at every meal. The minute I eat, I'm thinking about the next meal. And in between that meal, before that meal gets there, I'm eating a snack. So I'm having a snack in between meals and snacks in between snacks. This is my weakness. Cherry filling, pineapples, cake mix, and two cups of melted butter. I get to eat that all, literally. Any activity that I do, walking, breathing, everything is compressing on my lungs, heavy for my heart, and I'm toting it around, and I want it gone. Until you are overweight, you will never understand it. There's no off switch to my brain with food. You know, it's, it's a hunger. It's I just can't stop it. Going on. Doing all right? Yeah. How are you? Come on in. His weight has taken over his life. He's just so in to the overeating and the overcooking. He doesn't know any other way. You fixing three boxes? Well, there's three of us. But you don't need a whole box. Well, no, no. I mean, I don't eat a whole. I mean, no. But once you, once you, when Dad'll take it, he'll take it for his lunch. There's six servings right there. I know, but he'll take it for his lunch. But why three boxes? That's how my mother cooked. <laughs> My weight issues started when I was a baby. They were so excited that at 10 months old, I was eating steak. I mean, what 10 month old with teeth are eating steak? Once I started getting older, my weight started to affect me more. So it, it grabbed a hold of me in my, my late 20s. I eat when I'm happy, I eat when I'm sad. Regardless of how I'm feeling, I'm just gonna eat. I did get the single patty this time. You said you weren't going to get it because you... Yeah, it was a lot of burgers. too much to eat. It was a lot of burgers. I really, really hope he gets some self-discipline to conquer this, you know, and get it under control and do more for himself. I'm a food addict. With my weight, it's just it's holding me back. I think my wife just, is, she's depressed. I mean, because of the size that she is, I want her to learn to eat right, cook right, because all it's gonna do is it's gonna benefit her, it's gonna benefit me, it's gonna benefit these kids. There's diabetes, heart attacks, and heart disease throughout my whole family. I don't want my kids to find me laid out somewhere. I wanna do something about it now. Uh, the last time I had a full examination was probably a little over a year ago. And then my doctor discovered that I had high blood pressure. Murphy. 
next step. Hi, Dr. Marvin. Nice to meet you. How are you doing today? She's in the super obese category, but just into it. Does that bother you down there at all? No. Take a big breath in and out for me. Most people who are this weight can lose a significant amount of weight. Uh, the question is, can they keep it off for the long run? Because that's what really reduces the risk of medical problems like high blood pressure. You shouldn't have high blood pressure at age 28. You shouldn't have anything else, really, at age 28. I think you're at some significant risk. So you need to do something about it. You need to start right away. Nice to meet you. This is my blood pressure medicine. Uh, one of my antibiotics I take. I got a muscle relaxer I take. When my legs are hurting me real bad, I take pain, these pain pills. My circulation is bad. My legs swell. The lymph fluid, it swells up so much that it finds a place in my skin to come out, and it constantly leaks. So I have a what you call a leaky leg. I think Ricky Wayne is depressed. His mother died in 2001, and he was very close to her. He, he helped to take care of her. I think emotionally, it depressed him, and then from there, he's just kind of been spiraling. If I don't get a handle on it, if I don't get help, I'm gonna die. I don't want my dad to have to bury me. Ricky Wayne. How you doing? I'm doing fine, how are you? Doing pretty good. You know, I don't have just one foot in the grave. I'm, I'm way steep in my own grave. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How do you do? Good. Ricky Wayne McCartney. I mean, he's in serious trouble. At, at your age, at 35, looking forward, uh, there's a very high chance that you're not going to live to normal life expectancy. Your high blood pressure is an indicator that there's something really wrong. It's hard to do it by myself. Because I, I figure if, if I'm doing it, everybody has to do it too. And nobody's on me like they used to be on me. Ricky, this is your problem in your body. You have to be the one to accept responsibility here and start to make the right choices. It's not tomorrow. It's not worrying about things from the past. It's got to be today. The reason I'm going to lose this weight is so that my kids will see me longer, so that I will be here. And I'm going to make a change, you know, for the better. My mom, she just laid down and she died. I was the last one to see her alive, the first one to see her dead. And I don't want to put that burden on somebody else. Wow, this place is, it's like it's unreal. Are you ready to go see your room? Yes, very what excited. Wow. <laughs> Ooh. It is hot today. I'm really embarrassed because how out of shape I am. Man, I'm out of shape, but we were just gonna get so winded from me. I'm just doing that much. Yes. Yeah. Hi, my name is Brittany. How's it going? <laughs> doing pretty good. David, How's what these going? individuals are signed up for is a six-month program. Are you ready for this? <laughs> yes, sir. OK, because you know what? I'm ready to work with you, man. For the first month, they're going to a facility that is a controlled environment. Everything will be monitored. Do you have any um, phone, credit cards? The steps to turning around their lives is not just about getting on the treadmill. Do you mind if I check in no, here real quick? Just make sure. We're going to have a team of specialists. We're going to have trainers. We're going to have dietitians. We're going to have psychotherapists. Well, so far, Ricky, you look good, man. Hopefully, good. through this experience, we're going to prepare them a lot more for what they have to face. And then we're going to have some good times, hard times, but it's going to be <laughs> extremely exciting. But okay. I don't think these people really have a clue what really is up ahead of them. Let me get one more up top. All right. And we're going to make this rock, OK? Hey, hey guys. guys, how's it going? Are we ready? I'm ready. Just pick up our leg. All right, bend your elbows, pull through, take it back. The individual is going to be paired up. Come on. Yeah, talk to yourself. Let me see that eye. 
it makes you see that you're not the only one that has to think about the first workout that you haven't done in years. How many can you get? How many? There's <laughs> nine. Can you get 15? <laughs> My first impressions of Jessica. Three abs in to come up. She was slow moving. It was kind of hard to know what to expect of her. 10. Three abs in. 11. Wow. 16. 17. The thing about Ricky is, is that he's been a big guy his whole entire life, you know, which is why he's able to actually carry his weight so well. I need you to blow down the brick house. There you go. One thing I like about Ricky is that he tries. Excellent way down. Three. He has what we like to call the tiger eyes. I want to see the eye of the tiger in there. 10. There you go. 11. Show me. 10. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I need three more. Come on. Nine, don't you stop. Let's go, Ricky. These 30 go. days are not going to just be 30 days of hell. Yes, <laughs> this is going to be 30 days of hopefully a new life. Done. All right. Let's go. I won't get out. Okay. That's it going, guys. Great. 150, okay. So, so. I was really nervous when they said that we were training at the pool. Is it the same deepness the whole time? I had to go swimming. And I just flat out told them that I didn't know how. You're not going to be in here with me? I'm not going to be in here with you. I can be in a pool and wait around and all that kind of stuff. But as far as the swimming part, it scared me really bad. Come on, you got 30 seconds. In, out. In, out. Right now, how's your leg doing with the, uh... Um... It's fine. It looks like it's real, real swollen, but... Ricky has a open wound on his leg. I knew we weren't going to be getting in the pool. I knew we were going to have some issues with getting him really moving. All I want you to do is twist, and I want you to exhale. <sighs> I'm just so much of a water person, and, and seeing somebody else get in the pool today and doing activities in the pool is just, like, killing me. I want to be in that pool so bad, man. We'll get there. When we told him that he couldn't go to the pool, he didn't like it whatsoever. Two, drop those to the side. There you go. Rest on my shoulder. There you go. It's OK. What's that on your face pouring down there? I swear. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It means we're doing something. Today was, you know, kind of a shock. We worked out in the pool. I am sore, sore for being in that pool all day. You know, the first week, I knew it was going to be really, really hard, but it was harder than what I thought it would be. Count it down. Say it. Come on. Four. Four. Drive through that front heel. Front heel. Front heel. When you're working out, you have all these things that are going through your mind. You know, can I do this? Am I going to be able to finish? Show me. 17, there you go, come on. The trainers are pushing us to where, you know, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. There you go. Ricky is a big drama queen. He does not give enough in his workout sessions. <laughs> I was really nervous. Just where is he gonna go? Which way is he gonna go? Not sure, is he gonna quit? Go, come on. This is what's gonna take. You're gonna have to get a good beating in that body. <laughs> yeah, the trainers are there to help us, but it's like, they're sort of like the enemy, too. One more. <laughs> One more. <laughs> Jessica shocks me every time, because she'll be crying in the middle of the set, and there's a lot going on. No, there you go, Jess. One, two, ten. Those are tears of joy, right? It hurts so bad. Jess, come on. She is looking for someone to give in to her cries, and it's not going to be me. What do you think we're having for dinner? I don't know. All right. Most difficult thing so far has been the food. It's good. It's a little different. Yeah. My mind last night was just thinking of probably a thousand different ways to escape from here and go break into a fast food restaurant. I won't be eating anymore. Is it because of the texture or? It like makes me sick to my stomach. And come on, 19. There you 19. go. We're not done. Come on. Get it, girl. 20. 20. Yeah. And, and, and. Pull your belly button in. Oh, yeah, I felt that. Good. Four, Four, show yourself. Five. Five, come on, no more chocolate cake. Six. Give me some effort, throw this ball at me. I can't really see myself as being thin right now. Squat, curl, <clears throat> exhale. But just taking it day by day. One, good job, good job. All right, let's do this. 
Your weight is now 540.8. Yes, ma'am. I'll take yes. it. All right, Jess. I'll take it. I'll take Jess, it. Jess, your weight is now 285.6. No, it's not enough. Hold up. Come here, come here, come here. Listen to David. For one Jessica's second. insecurity levels are pretty high. She's not very confident in herself. So if we lost a pound of fat, but we gained a pound of muscle, we're still progressing, right? Because what's She really needs to figure out that she can do this. Don't let that bother you. You trust, you trust me? You didn't gain a pound, right? Yeah. Every pound, we'll take every pound. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning. How you doing? Good to see you. Mark you. Jones. Right. Pleasure. Thank you. I feel like I caused my mom's death. Is that what you wrote? Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. My mom was real, real sick uh, with her diabetes and lupus, and it was a week before Thanksgiving. And you know, I took her up the stairs, helped her up there, and put her in the bed. And the next day, you know, looked at her face, and she was blue, blue. Ricky Wayne has struggled with emotional ups and downs, and it is a problem with unresolved issues. How do you think you caused your mom's death? If I'd have left her in the chair, she would, she'd still been alive. I see. Thought I'd have longer with her. That guilt over his mother depressed him, and as a result, he went to food to medicate it and to feel better about himself. Let the self-hatred go. Let the guilt go, the self-punishment. Can. There you go, cry that. It's just like a part of me is gone. I think that's a major part of my problem. I can't get past that. What's up, Ricky? I just want to be left alone today, man. Why? You know, the first thing I look for when I'm trying is someone right now, to come and today, talk to me. Today, I do not. I do not give a shit about any of this today. Okay. I fing don't. Do you care about yourself? I don't care about myself. You, you know what I can do yourself? right now? I can take a fing knife and stick it in my eye. Why? Because I, I just don't fing care. Why? Just leave me alone. Leave me alone! If that's what you want, then that's what that's what you're gonna get. I don't care. I don't, I don't scared, care you about your that. muscles. I don't, I don't care. care. I don't give a I don't Just care get out of my face. Either. I want to be left I don't care alone. Either. I don't care about Ricky Wayne. I mean, one day this guy is the happiest man on the face of the planet. Then the next day, he's a completely different person. I just need some time today just to sort some stuff out, and I don't want to quit. I'm not, I'm not. Ricky is vocal. He has ups and downs, and they are quick. I think that has a lot to do with it, what emotionally is going on for him. Can you go take some time um, by walking around, taking a walk, or on the treadmill, and you can still just be alone? I need you to show the rest of the team that you're still willing to work, even if it's on your own, OK? okay. So much stuff going on in my mind. Anger? Frustration? I think that Ricky overreacted. He's used to always having things his way. You will feel so much better. After you do that workout, you can go cry. We'll go cry together. You can go cry in your room. But that workout is more important, I'm telling you, than anything. You know, I had to tell him that it wasn't all about him, that it was about us doing it together as a team. Don't stop. Don't stop. Yes. I'm sorry for this morning. I won't ever let you down again, I promise. All right. We're going to do this together. Hey, partner. Hey. Hey. How are things going? Oh, it's going good. Going good. Just trying to do a, been doing a lot of house cleaning. <laughs> Got everything done. Trying to adapt to my new thing that the doctor got me on. He diagnosed me with diabetic type 2. Really? You there? Yeah. Don't get upset. It's all right. 
My grandmother was about 40 something when she was diagnosed with diabetes and died at 58. She had a diabetic stroke and all she could say was, I love you and help me. I'm not going through that with him. I love you, I miss you. Miss you too. Diagnosed <laughs> with diabetes. I hate that. The sooner I can get this over with and focus on me and get me accomplished, the better my family can be. Guess what? What? You got your swim trunks on? No, but guess well. Doctor released you. No way for real. Uh -huh. <laughs> A big moment for us has been him getting in the pool. Oh, it's so on right now. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Ooh, I got goosebumps. Look at that. He had some issues with his leg. He couldn't get in the pool, which was what he was most excited about. Oh, wow. oh my God. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow. When he got the opportunity to finally go to the pool, it was like the angels were shining on him or something. Face yourself. You got it. I'm really more motivated now. Hook that on, Rick. Hook that on. There's so much that got taken away from talking with a therapist, and I think I've needed that for so long. Pull that body through that water. There you go. <clears throat> Cool. I see it now. I see that I can accomplish this. I'm just getting the help I need. Here you go, baby. Catch that ball. Nice. Hello, hello. Yeah. Hey. Ricky Wayne, your weight is 528.4. Woo! 528.4. Oh, I lost 12 more pounds. It was just kind of a shock. And I can start telling the difference in how I feel. And 29 more pounds, and I'll be under 500. So I know it's doable in the next uh, two weeks. And your weight today is 281. I know I worked hard. You damn sure did. I worked did. hard for that. There you, you go. Did. There you go. And what is it doing? Jessica is seeing results, but her results are slow. Lose it on three. Ready? One, two, three. Lose, Lose it! it! And I think that Jessica really, really needs to step it up. Hey, hop in. I'm going to be in there was very nervous about doing the exercises again in the pool because I actually had to not have my feet on the ground. <laughs> I can float and be on top of the water and doggy paddle, but not actually really swim. It's freestyle. Freestyle. Freestyle swim. I've always had that fear of drowning. So jump, slide, oh. through the water, and back to the ground. Catch your bearings, and again. Cool. To be 28 and just learn how to swim, that, that's pretty crazy to me, but uh, it was liberating. There you go. Pull yourself. Pull yourself. Pull that water. Oh. Come on. David made me feel comfortable, and I'm really proud of myself to actually finish. That felt good. I'm proud of myself. That's what I'm talking about. Get your breath. Anytime I have any emotion, that's the first thing that I, I head to is that big white box in my kitchen. <laughs> I've definitely learned a lot of stuff about myself being with a therapist. I've got to talk about things that I never would have told anyone. I love my mom, but she chose other things in her life besides me. Besides you. It was very hard for me to talk about some things that have taken place. So. One of mom's ex-boyfriends molested you at what age? I was 10, nine and 10. Do you think that someone so evil should never get forgiveness? But that's how you let go. Because you have to forgive them and forgive yourself for holding that so long, holding you back from everything that you've missed out on. Very good job, keep it going. <laughs> Get your abs in. Ten. Nine. Eight. <laughs> seven. It's been a struggle this past few weeks, but it's like everything has totally changed for me. Come on. Go. My stamina's gotten better. I'm stronger. There you go. Challenge yourself so I can help you. There we go. My energy level has gone up tremendously. Come on. Come on. Ah. Seven, eight, 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 eight. Five. Four. Finish your workout. Finish strong. 18, 19, 20, good job. Jessica is at the point right now where she's giving 
200%. And give me your 15. Come on, Jessica, be strong. I don't think I could have done it without having a partner. We do push each other. And sometimes he challenges me and tries to show off a little bit and have to show him up. But you know, he's been great. Now that is some <laughs> I would have never imagined me accomplishing what I have accomplished. I'm very proud of myself. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Hey, Jessica. Hey, y'all. How's it going? I feel good this morning. Nothing's hurting. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jessica, your original weight was 289. And today, let's see where you are. Step up. Jessica, you're at 272.8. Wow. Another Delicious. six pounds, girl. Holy cow. <laughs> In a week's time, I've never lost six pounds. So it being just half a week, just Wednesday, <laughs> was freaking amazing to me. Thanks for pushing me when I need to be good pushed. Good luck, good luck. <laughs> I'm proud, and I'm definitely taking that and running with it. Hey, hey. When you came to us, you were originally at 555.5. Let's see where you are today. 507, baby. 507. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Yeah! yeah! Again! Uh, you did it again! Uh, I lost 11 more pounds this week, which I was really surprised, and I'm, I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. Is that a 50 pounder? Is that all the weight on him? Would you like <laughs> to put that back on you, on your body, and chug it around? Holding the 50 pound weight, it was just kind of surreal and how that was all over my body. It's pretty awesome. Ever again. Yes, I am nervous about going home. You know, being here, I haven't had to worry about bills and everyday life. Jessica is facing balancing kids' finances and a husband with diabetes. And she has to look in the mirror and say, I'm worth it, and I deserve more time. I'm scared of going home, because I know there's going to be times when I go out with family or friends. They're not all going to want to eat healthy. My fear for Ricky is that the moment he leaves here, he'll go back to exactly what he was doing before. He has a lot of mental problems that need to be ironed out, and I am concerned he's going to fail. You get up every day, and you go to the gym, and you be proud of what you do. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. What's up? Dude. Hey. Man, look at you, son. You look so good. God I'm sakes. proud of you. Thank you. Man, look at, look at Uncle Bubba. No, I missed you. To my pants? Yeah, I see your pants. Look Holy at look crap. At look at this, Ricky Wayne. I lost 48 and a half pounds. How you feel, though? I'll show you how great I feel. You know, the best thing you do that they were telling us is when you go grocery shopping, stay out of the middle. Just. Everything that you need, that your body needs, is on the outside perimeter. Like brisket? Well, no, but I, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, uh, I'll make my own stuff. So yeah. Yeah. healthy stuff, like stuffed pork loin? And... No, no, <laughs> that's not too healthy. <laughs> like ice cream? No. It's but... on the outside. <laughs> no, buddy. Morbid obesity is not a laughing matter. Ricky has family that love him and support him. Sometimes it's not always the right kind of support. <laughs> At home, Ricky will face his enablers. Gonna be home. Hey Jess, how are you? Hey, good. Morning. Good. How are you? Good, good. You sore? Oh, yes. Good I'm workout yesterday. Oh, well, two sixty-three. Two sixty-three. How does that feel? Awesome. Me being home being put back into reality. That was the hard part for me. 
Get in the room. Get in the room. You can watch mommy in a minute through the window. Jessica's struggle with a healthy lifestyle. I think she still has to deal with things day to day that maybe most people really wouldn't want to have to deal with. Isabel, we're not gonna go do anything if you don't go back in there. <laughs> Isabel, mommy needs to finish, come on. Keep pushing, okay? <laughs> Reach down and go get it. <laughs> Like every time I go into a workout, I have this like major anxiety. Oh God! Look, keep going. <laughs> every day is a fight. The result wasn't what I wanted to see. I mean, I feel like I'm giving all, but I'll have to push harder. I think they got those. I think they had them around here. Maybe I'm gonna the wrong. Oh. Okay, I got it. Hey, Brittany, it's me, Ricky. I'm having some trouble here. Okay. And I'm trying to decide whether to get some lunch meat that's 60 calories with 15 calories of fat, but it has 390 milligrams of sodium. Ricky, he has a fear of eating. He has a fear of overeating. He has a fear of not eating the right things. I'll ask the dietitian, but okay. I would go for the less sodium. Okay. Um, I think he is overwhelmed. And typically what that can stem to is some kind of binge. It's hard because having an eating disorder, that temptation is always gonna be there no matter what. It's like, you know, being a drug addict or alcoholic. You can live without alcohol, you can live without the drugs, but you cannot survive without food. <sighs> Try not to lock your knees up. Just a little Last set. It's extremely hard. You know, I have all ways to go. Just... But you just have to have the want to. You have to grab a hold of it and not let go of it. I'm happy with that. I'm not going to stress about it. No. Stress is out the window. Jessica has developed into this just entirely new personality and new outlook on life. I'm gonna let you leave me. I'm gonna get behind you. Okay. The past week has been so much better. It's been a lot helpful since the kids have been back at school. Reach down and go get it. You're doing good. Woo! Four pounds, heck yeah. <laughs> Her weight loss has been slow, steady, um, realistic. Oh god. Good, good, good. There you go. It's great hard work. To the uh, monkey bars over there. It's a big accomplishment for me to get down to where I'm at now. There you go. Awesome. The fat is going away, but the skin is not. I can actually pull on it. It's very uncomfortable. Morbidly obese people can lose weight very rapidly, but they start to accumulate extra skin. It's annoying uh, having skin there, and Jessica's extra skin, that certainly limited her physical activity. I want to see it gone. I go to the doctor. What is mommy gonna have done? Daddy, yes. You get to run faster. Yes, mommy will way run faster. And of course, the card for spa sandals, the activity schedule. Okay. Uh, Ricky Wayne had to return to the facility. He was having a hard time learning the right food choices to make, what to put in his stomach, how to actually prepare it. We had to show him some more of these tools over the course of a longer period of time. I'm going to take the stairs, if you don't mind. And... Of course not. His family environment has definitely affected what he thought he was capable of. I think he needed more support and help and more education. I don't think he was ready to go home. I feel like I'm in kindergarten all over again, learning how to color in the lines. Sometimes I get out of the lines. This is Ricky Wayne's last chance at a new lifestyle change. Yay, I'm home. <laughs> it's a lot of different emotions going on, you know? 
scared, excitement. There's no turning back now. But whatever it takes to get me better. How many more you got with good form? I can go to 15. All right. When Ricky got back to the facility, he was at a, a complete halt, but he really went for it. He did not hold back. Your weight today is 479.6. Yes. Ricky is doing great in the losing weight department. We got you at 464.2. Four forty six point six. I feel like a million dollars. I'm happy with how everything's going. I've got tons of energy, endurance. My body is changing so much that I just thought I look better, I feel better. So, you know, let's change up the hair. Ah, uh, beautiful. Now take that knee deeper. Strong wire. Yes. <sighs> I really hope this time that he does take with him the tools that are necessary for him to become successful in life. Because it's critical. It's critical at this point because he's had more help than anyone else. It's either sink or swim, live or die. Uh, I do think I'm, I'm more prepared, but you know, in the end, it is a constant battle. It's an everyday thing, and I have to be on guard, you know, at all times. Ricky Wayne spent most of the time in this program in a controlled environment. He's already gone home once and had to come back. Oh man, I made a big, huge sign in my front yard. It says, "Congratulations, Ricky Wayne." He has to show that all the help has been all worth it. This is his last chance to make a true lifestyle change. Hey, everybody. I'm home. It's going to be a real challenge, but I am home. I got four more weeks to the final weigh-in, four weeks of hard training. I'm ready to get started. We're at that last month mark, testing where their habits lie. Can they, without the weigh-ins, the check-ins, can they make it this month, really relying on the knowledge and the tools that we've given them to really keep pressing forward? I'm trying to keep that concept out of my mind of starting over. I mean, I'm very proud of myself, but as far as the workouts, I want to be able to really push myself, and I know I have a ways to go. The real challenge for Jessica will be when things get hard in life, how does she climb that mountain on her own? It's a little scary to implement healthy living in everyday life with my kids and my husband and just being the mom that I should have been. Push Jess. With the journey that she's been on, the way she's been able to prevail over obstacles that she never thought she would ever do, I hope that the tools she's been given, the assistance she's been given, has been enough. Oh, there you go. Two, three. Ricky has had some fallbacks. This 30 days will be a real challenge for him to find a balance. The step forward that they take this month is on their own. The final weigh-in is right around the corner. They have to be ready to get everything out of this that they can. Come on, Ricky, make it hurt. So what do you think are the biggest challenges that you face at leaving the facility and going home? It was a little bit of a, a, a little shock. When I sat home, I was like, um, what now? It was definitely not easy. A lot of tears and a lot of sweat and a lot of pain. So let's see what we got today. <laughs> this is the moment of truth. All right, Jess. This is the on. moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> you started at 289. 289. What was the prediction? Uh, she gave me, she gave us 60 to 70 pounds. Okay. Today you weigh 217, which is 72, 72 pounds. pounds. Yes. <laughs> Holy <laughs>
<laughs> oh. 72 pounds yes, of hard work yes, 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 at home. Yes. You're the ones that sat there and said that I had the fight in me, and I stuck that in my head. Thank you. Losing 72 pounds, that is the biggest thing I have ever done. Love you guys. <laughs> I'm more outgoing, more outspoken, more confident. I even feel sexy now, and that's amazing. I've never really felt that before. <laughs> Hey, Why, hey. hello, stud. Oh, yeah. look at you. Thank you. God. How you doing? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you all right? Solid. How do you feel, man? Yeah. You're looking good. If you could take every positive word in the dictionary, that's how I feel. You have okay. an good. amazing change. We can see it. You can see it. Okay. Step right on for me. Okay. Ricky, 555.5 pounds was your original starting weight when you came to see us. Right. You are at 427.8 today. You're 127.7 pounds. Lost! Yeah! Oh, God! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You are at 555.5 pounds. Would you say that's heavy? <sighs> Dude, heavy's not the word for that. That's, that's like that's, tonnage right there. That's tonnage. Would you ever want to go back to that place? Hell no. I have an addiction. I'll have it all my life. But I've got, I don't call them tools, I call them weapons. The battle of the war. You know, I'm gonna keep doing it. This has been, it's been life changing, life saving. I've, I've prayed all my life for this, for just a chance. If somebody gave me a second chance, that's all it takes. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. <laughs> When you go through this rocky road of emotions, very important that you have that person to share that with. Me and Ricky Wayne, we will never give up on each other. Awesome, look at you. Me and Jessica, we're gonna be, we're friends for life. We're, we're bonded, we're family. Wonder Twins, freaking no limits. Heck yeah. <laughs>Proud of what I've accomplished, and, and I'm actually seeing the world through different eyes. But well, we'll have you out here every time we get one of these stuck. With. My mobility now, compared to six months ago, is I'm uh, actually I'm more of a rabbit now than a turtle. Are you ready to try swimming underwater? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Right now, I'm just focused on me and just kind of you know taking it day by day. Uh, six months ago, I was basically heading down a uh, dead end path. I didn't put much value towards my life. But now my outlook on life is tremendously positive. I have a better quality of life. Come on, push it. You still got one more lap to go. This is what your body is made for. Your body needs to know that you were alive. So I'm definitely doing that. I'm letting my body know that it's alive. You know, six months ago, I was sitting in front of a computer 10 hours a day, eating junk food and watching my life go by. So that old person, he's gone. So this is just the tip of the iceberg for me. You cannot carry that amount of weight around very long and sustain it at 600 pounds, not possible. He's taking in extreme amounts of calories. Sometimes I don't know what's too much. No matter what the situation is, I'm going to eat. With my first child, I gained 100 pounds. My eating affects everybody in my family. Are you taking any medications? They found that I had diabetes. You have children. If you intend to be around for them, I think you need to do something right now. If I were to die, my kids would probably end up like me or worse. When you say justify, Kevin, he's the epitome of justification. There's another one in here, Kevin. I promise you I did not buy them. Floor, her whole family is overweight, obese. We are enabling ourselves. So changing traditions for this family, big deal right now. 
What each individual here is gonna have to do is give in. You're here for your family. You're here for your kids. You're yeah. here for your life. We're here to make a change. Let's go. For my tennis shoes. This is what I have to do. I can't bend down. So I have to keep this stool here. Once I lose some weight, I'm really looking forward to be able to tie my shoes. This is what 318 pounds has done to me. This is what it looks like when you allow food to take over your body. I'm working full-time and going part-time to school. My husband helps me out a lot. By the time I get home, he's already started dinner. I was 40 when we got married, so I was just looking for somebody that would be a good companion for me. And so weight's never really been an issue for, I don't guess, for either one of us. She's been through a lot and things that just would cause somebody to go into depressions and overeat. After my parents divorced when I was one, uh, my mom came to the U.S. to live with her parents. She would call me, I'm fat, and you're just so fat, and stop eating. After so much being told that you're fat, you're fat, it's okay, so I am. I had three children with my first husband. Within the nine months that I was pregnant with my first daughter, I gained 100 pounds. How can a woman gain 100 pounds in pregnancy? After I had my other two children, I just couldn't keep the weight off. Those thoughts of, of how I didn't make my marriage work, about how a horrible mother I am because I don't spend a lot of time with my kids because I'm always working. Every time I would feel like that, I just ran to food. That was my comfort. Big Kev, that's all they always call me, Big Kev. That's, that's the name that kind of went from, I guess, high school to now, Big Kev. I like food, I like to eat it. Here you go, man. My thing with my problem is I don't know, sometimes I don't know when to stop or I don't know what, what's too much. Depending on how hungry he is, Kevin made two plates, or three. Ah, uh -uh, stop, 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 slow down. Slow down. You just can't be stuffing all that in your mouth. My eating affects everybody in my family. My obesity affects everybody in my family. I realize that I'm going to put my kids on the same track I'm on. My earliest memory of being overweight was probably around 14, 15. My mother thought the same things like, well, it's getting hard to find you clothes. And once I got married, I picked up a lot of weight. Miss Harris said, and Miss Harris said I was very helpful. I have two young kids and, and, and a teenager who I'm raising my nephew. Come on, come on. And my daughter says, you know, she wants me to teach her how to play basketball. And my son, he's getting more active, and he likes to run around. And Kevin, throw it, throw the ball. I want my family to do things that everybody else's family does. They should have the father that's fit enough to enjoy life. Is that first down? We went through all types of, you know, weight loss programs. I tried to motivate him by making him walk with me or exercise with me. I don't think Kevin really saw himself as being overweight, as being obese, but it's taking a toll on him. Move over some, Calvin. Right there. I'm a middle school teacher. I'm a coach as well. Football and basketball. So we gonna do what? Like, we gonna stay with him till he comes back. I don't want to fail my kids as a coach, you know, fail myself as a person. I love my family and I want to be here with them. Jerry, do you want tea? Yes. I think as a family, we say, yeah, you can have that Twinkie. I'll just take the other half. We need to find ways to lose weight. I want to be able to learn how to do meals. I want to learn how to teach my kids. 
rolled up and rolled out. Yeah. Me and George have started thinking about having another child, which the kids are excited about. The only way that can happen, according to my doctor, is I go down to 240 pounds. I really need to be healthy. The last time I went to the doctor, they found that I had diabetes. So it's not something I'm looking forward to. And you don't want to put extra pounds in there. <laughs> Are you taking any medications? Can you take a big breath in and out for me? Floor's short and heavy with diabetes and sleep apnea. I mean, she's at risk. Her husband's considerably heavier than she is, 466 pounds. They're probably bouncing their bad behavior off each other a little bit. When you have a partner who's obese as well, particularly if the partner's doing the cooking, um, that's sort of reinforcement for the wrong things. So I don't see her making progress independent of him, not from what it sounds like. You already have diabetes, which is fairly recently diagnosed in your case. It can lead to renal failure, soft tissue infections, people get amputations because of it. The obesity is likely to cause other medical problems, for instance, heart attacks and strokes. It's just like a slap in the face. I don't want the next thing to come with this to be that I have a heart attack. When I found out I had diabetes, I went to the emergency room, they checked me in, and I think I went into like a semi-coma for about a week. I don't know why I got nervous now. <laughs> It's 191 over 102. That's high today. That is high. 596 pounds, is that oh. correct? So you put on about 300 cents high school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, do you do more than one plate when you eat dinner? Um, I, once upon a time, I did, but lately. So where are all these calories coming from? He's taking in extreme amounts of calories, even though he won't really admit to that. Step up here first. Can you get up on that, OK? Right. Yeah. Uh, you cannot carry that amount of weight around very long and sustain it at 600 pounds, not possible. You should not have, at 39 years of age, high blood pressure. You should not have type 2 diabetes or sleep apnea. You have young children. Mm -hmm. uh, I think if you intend to be around for them, you're going to have to get your weight down. Uh, it's as simple as that. I think you're taking in a lot more than you realize you are. I mean, I love my children a lot, and I, I want to be there as much as long as I can. And I don't want my kids to live in fear of their dad dying like that. I'm ready to lose this weight. It's time for me to take the rest of my life back for, for me and my family. It's been a cycle of pregnancies and then a cycle of stress. I have unintentionally hurt my kids. And if I were to die, my kids would probably end up like me or worse. It's time. It's time for me, at least, to take control of my life. Nervous. I know it's not a competition, but I just want to make something good of this opportunity. I'm very nervous. I don't even know what I'm getting into. Let me just show you around through the grounds a little bit. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's a beautiful area. You're welcome to use our hydro bikes, which are right here. They're kind of like bicycles on pontoons. Oh, yeah, it's comfy. David Richardson. Kevin Jackson. Kevin Jackson, nice uh -huh. to meet you. How you doing, Ms. Rich? Hi, are you Floor? Yes, ma'am. I'm Brittany. First week is going to feel like boot camp to these bodies coming in. Nobody's fully prepared. I do have to ask one real good pertinent question. What was that? Do you have any food with you today? No. During the first month, the controlled environment is going to be very strict. We're going to be taking away any snacks, any foods, anything that would unfocus them for what they were here for. Is this your bag? Yeah. Do you mind if I go ahead and check through it at all? Go ahead. OK, I can't find any food in here. No, I, OK. Man, it came out of my classroom. I promise you, I did not buy them. There should be another one in there, because I didn't eat them. There is another one there in there? There should be another one Please in there. Please don't tell me there's another one in there, I'm going to tell you there's another one there's in there. There's another one in here, Kevin. 
I purchased those things before I even got here. Kevin, you want to live? You love your family? Yes, I do. You love your kids? Yes, I do. OK. Don't lie to me. And that's what he did. He tried to lie, so I had to make a point. Let's go with me real quick. All right. Come on down. We're going to speed walk a little bit. You follow me. Let's go. Come on, truck it. What you got for me? I thought you were here. I thought you were ready for this. No more candy. No more chocolate. You're here for your family. You're here for your kids. You're here for your life. We're here to make a change. Let's go. There you go. Come on. Come on. What did you tell me you were here for? Live. What else? I love my children. What else? I love my family. I want to live. There you go. What's up, Mr. Kev? Hey, 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 how you doing? How yeah. you hey, doing? You're sinking here. All right, y'all ready to rock? With Kevin and Floor, this is an opportunity to have someone there to root you on and for them to root the other person on. Hey, really make them tight. Give me abs, give me abs, give me abs, give me abs. Give me abs. Give me abs. Good, bring it down. I heard about Kevin first through David, so I was like, this guy's gonna be trouble. For all the reasons that you want it. Good. The first time working out with him, he's been, I'll try, I'll try. Can you give me eight more? Yeah, I'll try. Okay. Definitely encouraging that he's not going to say no. I hope that it's getting into his head that he wants to do this. Come on, push. 18. First Two workout more. with Floor, I could definitely tell that she had a lot of spunk to her. One, two, up on her toes. She knew it was going to take a lot of work. Four, beautiful, again. Five. Good. She may not have the stamina, Five. but she definitely had the heart. Good job. Heart rate got up there a little bit, huh? How you feeling? Not good. Not good? OK. Nice deep breaths. The muscle burn, the heart rate spiking. There's going to be a lot of pain the first week, they and they're going to have to get their bodies good to where job. they can do this. <laughs> <laughs> At least you got a good, awesome workout in before you actually let it loose. You're so close. You're so Five, close. Six, don't stop. Yeah. Don't stop. Come on down. Push up. And back up. Eight. <laughs> the first two days, all I did is puke. <laughs> it was scary. Kick, 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 all the way, all the way, all the way. Come on, get to this wall. Get to this wall. Those first days had me ready to jump out the damn gate and, and get away from here. Five. Like, come on. Six. And I was like, oh, what in the hell have I got myself into? Ah. Ten. Keep going. Five ah. more. Five. And halibut, green bean. Are you allergic? I just don't eat it. <sighs> there you go. Look at that. The food situation, all that shit's got to straighten up, because we're doing these hell of five workouts here, and we basically run on nothing. They're not on a starvation diet. They were used to eating 10,000 calories a day at home, so certainly it may feel like deprivation, but in reality, they are getting a healthy, balanced menu. We've got six. Now take ownership, count it. Five. One, beautiful. It wasn't easy putting the weight on. It's not going to be easy taking it off, but we're going down the right path. All right. All right? Let's keep right. it going. Come on, Miss Floor. 5.6. Three pounds. Yes! That's a solid three pounds. Yes! I think they're going to be bigger than yours. Look at that. I got you here, Kevin. Let's see what you got. Today, 576.2. That gave me a very good feeling. Chip away at it bit by bit and piece by piece. Good job. Why don't you just tell me more about yourself, of what negative experiences you've had in life? In our family, you just don't talk about things. So the first thing that comes to your mind? My uh, stepfather molesting me. I was probably like in maybe fourth, fourth grade. Fourth grade. Yeah. I never told my mom during that time. I didn't know that I could just say something and, and make it stop. I've said to myself, you ruined my childhood. You're not going to do this to my adulthood. And yet he did. When a child is abused, it wounds them, and it affects the way they see themselves. She would just self-medicate it, which led her to food, because that's what she was in control of. You feel better? Yes. I'm glad. I feel relieved. I'm just going to use that 
to encourage me to accomplish what I need to do. Sprint, 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 sprint. 942, 943, sprint, sprint. You know, I love myself, and I have forgotten about that, and I think that's why I've gained so much weight. Floor, you're catching me, Floor. Let's go, Floor, let's go. Let's go. I put it to, oh, it's because I've had kids, or oh, it's because of this, or because of that. It's just somewhere in my life I've lost me. Four, you got it, Floor. <gasps> Five, I know you do. Seven, eight, oh my goodness. Every day it's a challenge. Five, six, seven. My goal is to lose at least 20 pounds every month. And I can see myself doing that. Ha! Nine. Yes. Ha! Yes, sir. Good job, good job, good job. So today, step on, let's see your weight. 297.6. I'm finally out of the 300s. I feel so much better. I'm accomplishing so much. Very good job. Okay, Kevin, let's have you step on. 560.8. <laughs> 560.8. <laughs> you got your goal, man. You got your goal. I'm seeing some good positive results when I hit that scale. I feel good. I'm, I just can't explain it. Oh, man. Yeah. Four, three, two, yeah. one. Huh. Good job. Good job. Oh, good job, goodness. Kev. Come on down. Let's talk, guys. Let's talk. Y'all did work really, really hard, and we're very proud of you. So we're going to have you take an option of a reward, all right? Floor, you can have a movie or a phone call home. Which one would you like? I'd rather have a movie. Good. My husband, he said, first time you get the chance to call, call me. And I chose not to call. You got you to gotta be a little selfish right now, because in order for you to even be there for your family, you got to help yourself first. So there's nothing wrong with that. Good, head chest up, eight, seven. These 30 days are to focus on me. <sighs> Thinking of being back at home started to get overwhelming. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not going back to that mentality. Slow, slow, slow. Flora's dealing with a lot from her past. She's dealing with a lot from her present. Two, one. I really hope that she can get it together before it's too late. It is a lot of pressure, because if I don't get healthy, I could die. Six, Six, 15, 14. Pump those arms. Pump those arms. There you go. Get up on those toes, too, when you get up. Pull that water. Pull it. We're going to get somewhere. Pull. Woo, y'all are looking good. Two more. 14. I know it's burning. Don't stop. 15. Come it's on. incredible to see the transformation that Floor is doing right now. 21. <sighs> four more, four more, Floor. <sighs> 22. Her stamina is really starting to come along. I want to do the bike again. I'm afraid to touch the water because there might be snakes. Yay! The talk with the counselor helped me a lot. 15, 16, there you go, Floor. 17, gut it out. This is my time. It's not something I'm going to get ever again. Really want to control that breathing. <sighs> Floor is on it. Floor is killing it. OK, guess what? What? We're going back up. All right. But um, Kevin gets really tired and emotional. I'm going to get another one for 10. 14, exhale. <laughs> when he first started, he would work out really hard. Exhale. Oh, man. What's it burning? Right now, his workouts are going down. Eat. You don't think you're going to eat tonight? Kevin is breaking down from the types of food he's having to eat, and he's letting it bother him. Huh? Oh, my God. Huh? Maybe I am breaking down a little bit. Maybe I am cracking up a little bit. You know, got a lot weighing on my mind right now. Six. I don't care about the reasons. I don't care about the excuses. What I care about is the success. Ten. Weight loss is not just about physical weight loss. It's about weight loss that's internal, resolving everything in your past that could be a hindrance to you. I lost two sons. Two sons. Two sons. So you lost two children. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. 
My wife called me, she told me something was going on with her. She was in labor. It was like, well, it's too early to be in labor. Unfortunately, a few days later, he was born and died. Two weeks later, the second one came and he died. A long time. She blamed me. Who blamed you? My wife. She thought I, I hated her for losing the boy. <laughs> she no, thought you hated her. Because I didn't say anything. But I, the truth is, I didn't know what to say. Yeah. One of Kevin's greatest challenge is that he stays distant. I didn't know. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. It creates frustration, anger. He gets overwhelmed, and then he goes and eats. And I believe that's Kevin's main issue. I had a talk with the therapist today. I'm just trying my best to maintain my sanity and take it day by day. Come on, Kev. Come on, Kev. Plow through. Plow through. The, the workouts to this week definitely have been difficult. Two. Three. Oh, these are the easy ones. I can't expect a miracle in, in 30 days. OK. Nice. You are at 290.6. Yes. Woo! Job. Okay, you are at 552.6. Two pounds. Two pounds. Do you think you've done everything it takes to move forward? Do you feel like you cheated in any type of way? No. Then you have nothing to be worried about. He said to me that he did everything at full speed and, you know, didn't miss a beat. That wasn't the truth. Hey, guys, we're going to go ahead and check everybody's room right now. Uh, we'll start with you, Kevin. There's a rumor that a couple of subjects are eating other people's food. If it's true, I'm going to be highly upset. Kevin, you got any contraband? No. What's this? That's steak. That was part of my dinner. Steak? Yes. I thought I could save it for later, maybe eat it later on. Kevin definitely has an addiction to food. What about these? Those are mine. Who's on it? I don't know. He's an addict. An addict is an individual who becomes super manipulative to get what they want. I go in that gym, and I go hard every time I go into that gym. I'm not taking nothing off no bar. I haven't even been getting my salad. I haven't even been asking for the vegetables. Today, Those I eat. Those are the biggest things we need. It's hard to eat the food. The salad has gotten on my nerves. It just sounds like crap to me. We're talking about an individual that, when you say justify, he's the epitome of justification. I cannot eat the salad. I'm not going to eat it. Can you no, get the steamed you veggies? Steamed okay. veggies. If he doesn't get his mind right and stop these justifications, he's going to have some problems. <laughs> Hey, pace it, pace it, pace it, pace it, pace it. You can do it. Floor, you can do it. Let's go, mountain climbers. There you go. I hadn't thought about my schedule in three weeks. Good job, Floor. Keep it up. When we got to the training today, I started thinking, what am I going to do when I get home? You got to be able to push yourself when you're at home. No one in your family needs you more than you. I went in with 100 things going through my head, and the trainers noticed right away. Stop. <sighs> Let's start fresh, OK? <laughs> Let's start fresh. <laughs> It's just very stressful. This is when we got to yeah. dig the deepest. <laughs> when everybody is at home that's going to be trying to get mom to do this, mom to do that, that's when you got to dig the deepest and say, no, guys, I need to finish my workout. This is what it's going to take right here. I'm not going to stop. My time is not up. I'm not going to quit. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Kevin's making progress. He's starting to open his eyes a little, which is really exciting. Yeah! Oh. As time goes on, my attitude gets better because I know why I'm here. Man, I'm not going to live much longer if I don't get this weight under control. Very good job. Keep it going. Come on, baby. Come on. I'm surprising myself in the ability that I have 
the power that I have in my body. Good job. I'm changing physically and mentally. You sure you want to do this? Let's just do it. So I've decided my hair has to start all over again. So you want to be a trendsetter? No, I just want to be me. OK. Well, you about to be you. It feels like I don't have anything. You don't. <laughs> it feels like relief. I want to say, yeah! 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 No limits, baby. Hey, hey! G.I. Floor! Let's see where you are today. You're now at 287.6, so in a month you've lost 20 pounds. 20, 20, 20 pounds. That's a little under a pound per day. You gotta be proud of yourself. Come on. Hey, Cap. What's going on? What are you doing here? Going home. Man. You're going home. <laughs> <laughs> you know, last week I was kind of frustrated. You know, uh, I only lost two pounds last week, and I was like, I was really looking forward to busting that 550 marker. You originally started at 596.7. Let's see where you are today. Uh, 46, 48. 48. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Wow! Yeah. You know, 50 pounds in 30 days is 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 a big feat. Oh, you want to put that back on there? <laughs> nah, dude. Did you want to put that back on there? Nah, I'm just I'm just losing <laughs> weight. Losing weight is not an easy thing, but it's not something that's impossible to do. Floor has way too much on her plate. I mean, she has a family. She has a full-time job. She's still in school. Stress is definitely going to affect her getting up to work out, and she's definitely going to struggle. Go to the last time. Uh. Oh. Oh. Kevin's lost weight in a controlled environment. The real issue at hand is still his addiction to food. Kevin has a lot of weight to lose. And if he doesn't lose it and lose it now, he's going to run the risk of death. My family needs to get prepared because there will be changes. I don't want to go back to 300 pounds. There's no way back. Being secluded for 30 days, I think it was a time to focus on me, time to putting the responsibility back at me. Lick of skinny one. You're tall. You're skinny. You know, 50 pounds in 30 days is a big feat. I'm not going to set any goals for myself. I'm just going to work out and, you know, and do the things I need to do. Well, come on, Kevin. Let us see you. His pants fell in <laughs> Yeah. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, what are we cooking? This for the kids, not for you. For Kevin, he has issues that he's going to be dealing with when he goes home. Pork chops. All right. I'm changing things gradually when it comes to my meals. I really think this is too much, but I'm going to give it a go. I don't want to cause so much change to where I get confused. Just get some starches. You can't go cold turkey as soon as you come home after losing 50 pounds. His addiction cannot take over and stop him from getting progress. Daddy. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. All right, treadmills, I always do a quick start. Let's go a couple minute warm up. Coming home was an adjustment process for me. Come on. That's it. Oh. One more. Work with me. When I came back, I was not sure if I could do it. Three more. It was very stressful. Last one. There you go. Trying to make it a lifestyle change. It was a challenge. Uh, see, this one's 160 calories with only 8 grams of fat. How much is that? 
A hundred. It's brown rice and it's natural and it tastes good. Before I left, we had already decided that we were gonna start eating a lot healthier. Can I put that right there? Yeah. Is that good? Am I eating within moderation? Yes. Am I still eating some of the foods I ate before? Yeah. Some of these, all right? That's it, though. I'm 39 years old. I'm not going to just take everything that I grew up on away from me and go cold turkey. There's no way in the world I can do that. Flora's schedule is demanding. School, work, family. Every second in my life is very accounted for. Come on. And to me, it's like, OK, I just need to get through this. Seven, two. So you still lost off here? Yes. All right. All right, let me ask you a question. Yes. Can a person gain 14 pounds in seven days? What do you need? I feel like getting a little familiar. I'm taking this seriously. This is changing my life but I got kind of frustrated this week. The kids at first were, oh, we're gonna do it, mom. You know, my husband also, and they don't. When we go to eat, it's kind of hard. Why don't you cut it in, in four pieces? Or three. Floor's family tradition is eating out, is spending time over food together. Do you like the brisket thing? I've had a lot of guilt because I take the responsibility that I'm the one who said, oh, it's cheaper to go get you the burger than it is to cook you a, a healthy meal. Do we need to order something more? Mm -hmm. Do we need to order something more? Family time is food time. That has to change for Florida change. Hey, hey Brittany. How are how you? you doing? How you doing? How <laughs> you doing? What's good. going on? And I didn't understand it at first. I gained like 14 pounds. Was that because was that you were on a different? Part of it is because we're in Southeast Texas and it's a lot denser here. Humidity and everything. You can't fluctuate a few pounds of weight going from one altitude to the other. I'm not truly convinced that Kevin's 100% committed to this program. I didn't eat like, you know, three, four legs of chicken either. Yeah. I didn't yeah, eat they weren't big chicken legs. Kevin has a lot of excuses. What is that? That is donuts, and those are not mine. They're not, whose are they? No, they are my nephews. Yeah. I don't think he fully understands that, yeah, there's sacrifice. You you are accountable, and you wanted help, and you were asking for help. Yeah. What's your goal this week? Lose some more weight. Lose some more weight, lose some more inches. Stay focused. Nothing is easy right now. You know, because I'm a busy person. I have a lot of different things going on in my life but I know that the gym has to be in front of all that. Because if I don't make it to the gym, all of those things that I'm doing and all those things that I want to do are going to fall by the wayside at some point. Let's go, let's go. I do understand the burden it is to be a coach. You do have to put a lot into that. Get it. But it's going to be hard to get back to where he wants to be. Jim more. And if he really wants it, he'll find a way. Step on up for me. 519.6. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good surprise, if anything. Yeah, 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 it is. It is a real good surprise. <laughs> I really do not like skills. I. Uh, 278. Jingo. OK. You know I'm pissed today. I know. You think I'm not? Today, I want you to write down exactly what you eat. You're going to bring it to me each morning. <sighs> We're never having a week like this again. <sighs> Ever. I'm trying to eat the right foods, and I'm trying to work out every day. It took me 20 years to get where I was. <sighs> I always have to be careful what decisions I make, because my kids are, are watching every step that I make. <sighs> The reason that I've been trying to focus on you guys is I want you guys to be losing weight at the same time so you're not at the point where I've been where you're afraid to get a heart attack. It's hard to tell your kids, you know what, you need to lose weight. I'm upset at myself because I haven't gone and made the effort. But what are you going to do about it? 
I'm just gonna try my best to lose the weight. You have to make an effort of actually working out when we go as a family. Us doing it together makes a difference for us. I'm gonna do it no matter if you guys do it or not. I am. It's gonna be their choice. And now my focus has to be me. Her family is still trying to catch up to her. So will they boost her forward or will they pull her back? Come on. Come on. Three more, I need three, come on. Surprise visit. Hey guys, how's it going? What's up, babe? What's going on, Kev? Can I get away in with you real quick? Uh, yeah, come on up. Okay, so 508.8, about a five pound gain from two weeks ago, but a one pound loss from last week, right? Yeah. So you're heading back down the right path, but there's, there's a multitude of things that you can still do to keep yourself losing three pounds a week. Even if it's three pounds, I know you can do it. You, your body is, is asking for it. Bye. Come on, Kevin. <clears throat> Morning. I know I have a long way to go. I'm not about to say, okay, well, I'm, I'm done. But I feel like it's something that I can do. Good, Kevin. I lift it. I can't lift anymore. I lift him screaming, and I almost have to yell at him. Ah, I don't do that to me today, dog. One more. No! I find that the more weight that I lose, the stronger I get, the more agile I become. Hit 492. How'd you do it, sir? <laughs> I'm all right, I'll go down. Having an addiction, having a problem, it's hard. It's very easy for him to put this weight back on because his body was used to having it. He just has to lose weight or he's gonna fail. Yeah. Use that wrist, let it pop, make that wrist pop. Oh. I'm gonna try and extend my time as long as I can. Oh. The way you wanna do is just continue to just lose the weight. All the way down. There you go. Deep lunge. Come on, Kevin. Come this on. last month is crucial. Good, go. I could really see Kevin facing a tremendous amount of challenges. Hey, Kevin, come on. The biggest one is gonna be his ability to justify. Faster. Come on, can I do it faster than my shoulder on? <laughs> Floor, she doesn't have enough hours in the day. <laughs> School, work, kids, herself. Come on, all the way up. Her whole family is overweight, obese, and when somebody isn't going to the gym with her, that holds her back. If you cross eyes, you can't. Go. Go. Am I going to be able to control myself, or do I just avoid all my family? Oh. Come on. Come on. One more. Hey. Am I mistake free? No, there's no way in the world I'm gonna be mistake free. Mm. My biggest fear is just gaining my weight back and all the hard work I've done, you know, just kind of put it to the wayside. At the final weigh-in, I wanna see very steady progress. I wanna see that scale change, because it should. Huh. <sighs> <sighs> I'm about to go and get my final way in. I'm a little nervous. Hey, Kev. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? How you with doing? You? I'm doing, doing well. Can't complain. Doing well. Can't How about you? I mean, I've had my bad days, but I'm finding ways to keep it going, keep the weight loss going. You were at 596.7. You don't really know over the last few weeks where no, you've been. Where are you at today? I have the foggiest idea. All right, step on for me. All right. Starting weight. 596.7. Mm -hmm. Today, you're at 507. Uh, and the last time you weighed in, you weighed in at 490 pounds. Uh, so that means there's been about a 17 pound weight gain. You have a great family that supports you. You're a role model. OK. I don't want to see you go backwards. Kevin has a long way to go, and this is just the beginning. And I want to see him find more help. I want to see him admit to himself that he can't just do this on his own. That's all awesome, right. Man. I am. I am. Keep it up. Right. You deserve it. I am down 90 pounds, 
but I still want to lose more weight. And now I feel like it's something that I can do. Look at you! You were in a facility for a month with us, but you went home for five months and did this. It was scary to be in here and then to say, here, you can fly, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, no, I don't have wings. Mm -hmm. OK, four, step on the scale. Point Final weight here. Point six. Original 308.6. 308. Today, you were at 242.8, which is 65.8 pounds. Yes. 65 pounds, inches lost. Hold on to that for me. 77 inches. 77 inches. That's, All those inches came out of me. The amount, yeah. I feel very proud of what I've accomplished. I see myself a person that can accomplish anything that I set my mind to. It's giving my kids their mom back. This is my opportunity to get my life straight. <laughs> Six months ago, I was a depressed, overweight person. I couldn't even tie my shoes. Now, I feel amazed. I really feel like there's nothing I can't do. We've actually become very active as a family. You right, Dad? I'm You OK? They have to understand that it is not an easy journey. But all I can do is set the example at this point. I'm up here. I'm up here. I'm up here. Come on, come on, I'm up here. Everybody is going to benefit from my weight loss. Players are going to benefit because I'm going to be an even more energetic coach. Come on, hands out. Let's go, 40 seconds. 89 pounds is a lot of weight, no question about it. Coming down 22% of your extra body weight is a great start, but you've got to do better than this. I want to see you getting thinner, and your, I want your diabetes to go away. I'm very happy that Kevin has made significant improvement, but he's still got quite a long road ahead of him. Six months ago, I was beginning to think that maybe I might not make it. It was a struggle sometimes to even get up out of my bed. Now it's me on my own losing my weight. You got to keep on going. You got to keep on striving. I'm someone's father. I need to be there for them. <laughs> this has become a lifestyle for me. I feel I have no limits to what I can do. His addiction is the worst I've seen, <laughs> ever. Six junior bacon cheeseburgers. I've got to know where my next meal is coming from. Just embarrassing. These people are on the verge of dying here. Losing weight is the hardest thing for me. <laughs> Most of these individuals have not moved. Don't stop, don't stop. Five seconds. Whoa! How bad do you really want to live? I want to be left I don't alone! They're going to be going back into a household full of enablers. I'm sure those urges will come, but I just had to fight them off. It's an alcoholic in a bar. It scares me that what if I fail? This is more than just losing weight. This is an addiction. These individuals in the program just might relapse. To see him a year later, to be at the way he is now, it's amazing. Moment of truth. He's not the same guy. Getting in the truck is a lot easier now, and, and my stomach used to touch the steering wheel. My seatbelt would be so small, so I went to the dealer to get an extension, and I would put it in the opposite seatbelt holder. I mean, I used to not be able to get it to about right here, but now it fits. I get restless sitting in my apartment. I have to get out every day and do something now. It is a lot different than just a few months ago. I usually, I'll sit here and catch my breath. 
I've definitely hit rock bottom. It's kind of like I'm in jail almost sometimes because I can't get out and do the things I want to do. And I just feel like just kind of wasted my life. I should have kids and family and all that by now. Seemed to always be eating, and you know, we started worrying about him gaining so much weight so fast, and uh, I just didn't know what to do. Six junior bacon cheeseburgers. It's an addiction. If I don't do something very soon, I know I'm gonna end up dying because of this. I don't want it to be a life of regrets. Just getting to the gym for the normal person, it's not far, but you know, for me, it's, it's a good little track. Like a marathon. I'm not used to this much moving around. How hard is it to carry a refrigerator on your back and walk up a hill? Tom is about to die. I... You got it. Come on, use me, yeah. use me, breathe. Good job, man. This is pushing me a lot more than I thought it was gonna be. One more. I'm looking at it like climbing Everest. I just hit that first checkpoint. Okay. Woo, Tom. You can walk up this, can't you? Let's see where you are today. 587.2. Uh, you know what that is total? It's 51 pounds. Thank you, guys. I'm always going to remember this experience very much. Six, seven, come on, three more. Eight, rock and roll. Going home was incredibly difficult for Tom. He was right back in his old dynamic with his family. Mm, it smells good. Apparently, you can have almost anything, but just, it's just the amount of it. Is that right? Not, okay. not really. Um, We're talking about an individual who has help killing himself. I didn't know no. what you were allowed to eat. Think about get some fried chicken or something. Oh. <laughs> get your ass on the scale. Let's get the All out, right. brother. Come on, knock it out. Uh. It's all right, 609.8, it's okay. It was shocking, I couldn't believe it. I cut to 610 from 588. So how's going back gonna stop my binges? All it is is another opportunity for you to rehabilitate your mind. Good job, you can do it. I've quit on so many other things and this opportunity is just, it's not going to come around again. I was happy he went back. When he went back, he lost a lot of weight. It got him right back on that track. Hey, did you pack him out for his last few items? Tom, he does want to be successful. It's in him. Hopefully, he's gotten those tools again to try this one more time. Hello. Hi. Tom, you started at 638. Today you were at 483. Woo! That's 155 points. Oh my god. I know I'm on the process of getting everything back in order. It's like there's a future again. It makes a sacrifice and all that, all that work just worth it. The last 10 months has been a pretty surreal experience. Feeling good, starting to look good. Where I'm at now and where I'm going, it just makes it all so worthwhile. This belt, and I've had to add four new holes. That was like the first week, and then two weeks later. So I guess it's time to buy a new belt. At my largest, I was about 8X, which is 70 something waist. The big and tall stores wouldn't even carry pants this big. I'd have to go get them specially made. A lot easier to put shoes on. I used to have to get help putting all that on. It feels good getting a job and getting my own place. Oh, okay, nice to meet you. Yeah. Are you gonna get a roommate, you think? I'm, I'm considering it. And, uh, Having this weight off of me really allows me to go out and do some of the things I used to enjoy. There was a lot of times where I would just stay in secluded. My good friend Jason, I had uh, quit seeing him just because it was just so embarrassing about what I had become. Oh, hey, stranger. I'm not by any means where I want to be. It's definitely still a work in progress. But the support I've gotten from people has just been great. Well, I'm just glad to see you making so much progress. Well, yeah, it, it feels and good. Since I've seen you last, you've made a lot of progress.
I considered suicide in the past, but going through that place mentally to where I'm at now, it's just night and day. I'm loving the freedom of being healthy and normal, just living a happy life. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, there you go, yeah. I usually work out about four days a week now. Had them show me how to work all the different machines in the gym. What's up, man? Gosh, you doing good. good. How are you? I haven't seen you in too long. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been you a while. You feel good? I feel so much better. I get restless now being indoors all the time. It's like, oh, I, I got to get out. Something I got to do something, right? No way. Isn't that awesome? This is not the same guy that was walking up a hill to get to the pool barn and say, this is a marathon. And I like his attitude. You know, he stepped up to the plate. He's coming to the gym. He's working out. He showed me a bunch of things he was doing. Well, usually, I'll, uh, I'll start with about a 10-minute walk on the treadmill. A 10-minute walk. Wow. <sighs> wow. And he says, oh, you want me to go a little bit faster? Well, let's try it. Wow. Do a little bit more weight? Sure. Yeah. Oh, I was going to do oh, 30. 30. OK. All right, Tom. Let's Moment of truth. today, OK. I see 425.0. Woo! <laughs> 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 yes! Awesome. The amount of weight that he's lost, you're looking at him losing a whole person. That's definitely not the same Tom that I remember walking in the door the first day in the facility. And he lost 59 pounds by himself. That is just an awesome lifestyle change right there. He's about 10 years younger, too, man. Oh, it's happier now, looking for uh, female Almost. companions. Oh! Uh, there's some interest out there. <laughs> I'd say the biggest accomplishment is hitting the 200 pound weight loss. You know, that's about halfway where I want to be. How you guys doing? How you doing? All right. Hey, real nice to meet you. Same. You know, there's a saying, no food tastes as good as skinny feels. And if you think about it, it really is true. Being able to just share some of what was given to me, it's so nice. And, you know, us being bigger guys, we're lucky that it comes off a lot faster. I'm so thankful for the last 10 months. I don't ever see myself going back to where I was. I got married, and here's a picture of oh, yeah. me and my wife. And you know what? That's your motivation. Losing 200 pounds, it is something to celebrate. Now, you know, I want to find that perfect girl and uh, get married and have kids. I had the taste of success, and I'm, I'm loving it. Only 10 short months ago, walking up these stairs, I had to take a break just to get up these steps. And now, to come upstairs and get something that I need is no big deal. When I wake up in the morning, it, it takes me a good 30 minutes just to get my body to where it can move. <sighs> okay. I'm just always so afraid I'm gonna fall. Just embarrassed. <laughs> I feel there's this big sign on me that says, loser. <laughs> How does anyone get to this size without just being so out of control? She always had a, a problem with her weight. A lot of times I would have to step up and kind of do things with Michaela and the boys to kind of keep things going. After my mom passed away, I gained 100 pounds. But this past year just kind of turned our world upside down. I have a 19-year-old son, Landon. When he was 13, he was diagnosed with bipolar. He had gone to visit his brother. And Landon found his gun and he shot himself. Since my son has passed away, I've gained 60 pounds. Oh, you can step up. Your body mass index is 58. Normal's 20 to 25. It's a dangerous problem. Getting control of it as early as possible is important. Uh, at this point, she's very fragile. I'd give her the, the least chance of success. 
Tomorrow is my next his skin and die. You know, he just always wanted to see me get healthy. I'm gonna miss you a lot. My daughter's only 10 years old. I wanna be there when she gets married. Nothing like losing your child will make you realize that life is too short. So high knees, moving through the water, whether you're jogging, walking. Sharon started the program, she had a lot of fear. Every single exercise was an extreme challenge. Okay, big splash, big splash. I thought, how in the world am I ever gonna be able to do the exercises the trainers are gonna require of me? Nine, beautiful, beautiful, I'll take that. Come on, two, two, oh! one, two, ten. Don't stop on me now. The thing that I still struggle with the most is the negative talk in my head. I've got a lot of healing to do. What did your son Landon tell you? He said more than anything, he wants me to be healthy. What a great memorial for your son. I will tell you that when he said that, it filled me with a lot of fear. Okay, so now this foot's gotta come over. Can you do it? If I'm going to do something to honor my son's life, that's something I need to do with perfection. <laughs> she put a lot of pressure on herself. She was afraid of failing Landon. Oh, it just scares me. It scares me that what if I fail? Six. It's taken me a few weeks to feel strong enough to say, you know what? I can do this. I'm really going to make it to the end. Get it, get it, Mama, get it. Oh. I pray for discipline, perseverance, grace, and strength to stay strong on this journey so I can make you proud. You're forever in my heart, Mom. OK, so let's see. You're going home at 336.2. 30, 30 pounds in 26 days? Woo! When Sharon returned home, she found it wasn't so easy incorporating her new lifestyle. It's kind of weird getting back into life, you know? Get the sugar free, though, honey. There's just, there's too many choices and too many unknowns. My very first week home, I lost over eight pounds. Not enough. But then the next week, I lost one pound. You know, that was discouraging. You're okay. Seriously. You're gonna lose weight, I promise. Okay. Can you get your leg over? There you go. Okay. <sighs> oh, there goes your car. As determined as I was, it was a very frustrating process. Ah! I really want to do this. You do? I do. changed from the inside out. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. <laughs> Every single day, there is a small victory. <laughs> it leads me to have a lot of hope for what's to come. Hey, Sharon. <laughs> Unbelievable! Sharon, I just want you to step on. There we go. Her weight today is 255.6. 255.6. 2.10, oh, baby. Yes! 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 I feel wonderful about what I've accomplished, but you know, I'm not going to stay here for very long. Tuesday, I hit the gym with my trainer. I've got another 100 pounds to go. I never would have believed that I would be where I am today. I've kept just a couple pieces of clothing because I don't want to forget where I was. Uh, this is a size 34, and I'm now a size 14. These are the infamous gray shorts, and I can now fit into one side. <laughs> That's pretty fun. I wake up in the morning, I look in the mirror, and everything about me physically has changed. Well, I thought what we could have for dinner tonight is salmon, sweet potatoes, asparagus. During the last four months, you would think not having the focused attention would be a detriment. But when Dr. Jones said, what a memorial to your son, 
That was the turning point. Sharon had something to anchor against. She was committed to this program. What does mommy say about food all the time? It's Just... life or death. Uh-huh. It's stuck in my head. <laughs> food has taken on a whole different personality for me. It's no longer my comfort or my friend. It's fuel for my body. The next step for Sharon is to find her own voice and her own knowledge. It's really important that she's doing things for Landon, but it's also really important that she's doing things for herself. She's perfectly capable of making a workout and researching on her own. Do I think that she still needs support so that she's not scared of that? Yes. Our family has had to deal with enough grief and with this new place that I'm in, I have a feeling that we've got a lot of happy years together ahead for us. Costumes, dance back. Are you surprised to see mommy in heels? Yes. Hey, mommy, can I get heels? Uh, no. Why? <laughs> Someone said, you're getting an hourglass figure, and I was like, I've always been the kind of mom or friend that never wanted to slow anybody down, so I would try my darndest to keep up with anybody and everybody. When Michaela first made the dance team a few years ago, all the moms, they like to sit near the top because it gives you a better view of the entire team. And I was walking up the stairs, had made it to the third step, and literally fell back and slammed my head and my back against the bleachers and the, the cement floor. I was so embarrassed, and I was really hurt, too. It just feels so good. I am not the girl on the sideline looking on. There's no way to teach your child better than to be a living example for them. Did you hear us cheering up in the stands for you guys? Yeah. When I've seen her with her family, they're very proud of her. And her husband's standing right there by her side, and her daughter is so proud of her mom. That seems to be something maybe in the beginning I didn't see as much. I went to check on Sharon, and it was really an opportunity for her to show me what she's been doing. My son's birthday is June 27th, and I figured out that I had 174 days until his birthday. And the goal that I set is to have lost 200 pounds by June 27th. I, I have all faith that she can do what she sets her mind to. Um, I just want this journey for her to really be not all about that date and that weight. It needs to be a process that she can maintain. Balance is the only way to maintain but she is a rock star. She is a bomb in the gym, and she can move her body. I've never seen somebody work like her. Oh. I expected to see success when she stepped on that scale. You were 366 when you first came to see me. Then when you left, you had lost 110 pounds. Yeah. That was 256. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see where you are. pounds on your own since I saw you, <laughs> baby. Yeah, it's been good. It's been really good. You did that. Definitely when I've said in the past, like Sharon wanted her hand held, when I really look at the past six months and the past many, many months, she took ownership of this. I feel like I got a partner back. I feel like I've got a, a new wife. The, the biggest thing I'm proud of her is not only did she achieve, but she's helping others achieve. I put out a note and said, this is my goal. What goal do you have? And how far could you go to reaching that goal in 174 days? Let's get moving. Let's get our bodies moving. The day before Landon's birthday, we're going to have a big 5K so that we will have a wonderful victory line to cross as we reach our goals. Sharon has made great progress in the last six months with a lot of right decisions. She's leading others, so if she has to teach, she learns from that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to walk for a couple of minutes. I believe in Sharon. I know that she's going to be successful in anything she does. It's truly been 
a life-changing journey for me. I want to be able to share that with others. I want them to know that if I can do it, oh my gosh, anybody can. You can never get over losing a child. Three, one, two, three. It still is painful to think about him not being here anymore. This program gave us a positive outlook for our grief. Instead of being a thing to bring us down, it was a thing to lift us up. I guarantee you, she'll never go back to old ways again. I am filled with a lot of hope about what the future holds. That's what Landon's life has done. He's given me something wonderful to put my energy into, and that's what I'm gonna move forward with. You girls can do this, I promise. It'd be cool for the only ones here to take a dance lessons. <laughs> we could do whatever we want. <laughs> Ten months ago, my life was just evolved around let's go get completely wasted. Just a basic two step, nothing fancy. Where I am today, it's kind of hard to believe that I've come this far. It's awesome, it's such a great feeling. It's, it's hard, it's really hard to be my age in the society that we live in and have a weight problem. I got her on vodka. <laughs> I don't want people to see that inside because of my weight that I'm weak. Thank you, Daddy! It's like a nonstop party. Sometimes I'm like, why did I just eat that much? Why did I just eat this meal? Like, I can't answer the questions of why I'm doing the things that I'm doing. Dad, I'm not doing this with you right now. Please stop. My father's an alcoholic. I feel like I'm turning into an alcoholic. You've been drinking. That's my second one. Your obesity and your family history uh, are two factors for developing heart disease or having a stroke. The outlook where you're young and life's fun and don't worry about tomorrow, that's going to hurt you. It's my life. It's the only body I have, and I'm treating it like crap. If I keep going down the way I'm going, there's going to be a lot of health problems for me. I, I have to get control of my life before it's too late. Ready, go, go, go. Seven. Yes. My workout was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be today. Like, my body's shaking, my muscles hurt. Don't stop, don't stop. No, give me one. You owe me one good one. Push, feel those lats in the back, like when you were swimming. Same muscles working there. Ashley, she pushes. All right, 10, nine. But you know what, she has her own problems. I went out five nights a week and drank. Ashley is very open about alcohol, lifestyle. I think that's probably my biggest challenge is the not drinking. And now maybe we can get it out there and work through it. Come on. It's starting to sink in that it's reality. Three, two. Here we go, baby, here we go. Brush those inner thighs. Brush, brush, brush. It is really tough, but I have never, ever had so much determination in my life, ever. OK, sweetie, you are 274.8. Total for the month, you have lost 22.2 pounds. 20. I just want to be going back into a household full of enablers. Hopefully, you know, she doesn't get put into the same situation that she came out of. <laughs> Said I wasn't gonna get back into the bartending and waitressing, but I can't get full time right now. No mayonnaise or anything. I haven't been able to find a job that would work with my schedule, working out and stuff. It's good money right now, and it'll help me get to where I want to be. But it's a little scary to think about being back to where I was. Three, three, push the thing. Row with the right arm. I work out every day. Get up at six thirty in the morning with my trainer and still pushing just as hard as I was when we started. Once she said, I have a, a drinking problem, it really did work. You know, I want to succeed. I, I want to be healthy. I never thought I could run 3.1 miles without stopping. Just gave me a huge boost of motivation and self-confidence. Great job. Oh, thank you. Great job. Goodness! Damn! Hello! Hello! Wow! I just want you to step on. Today, 
you were at 205.2. 91.3 pounds. My main motivation from the beginning was to look in the mirror and have respect for myself. I'm just going to continue to get to that gym, work out, eat healthy, and, and get to where I want to be. Strong. Your mind is strong. <sighs> To be honest, when I started this thing, I mean, I did not see myself where I am today. I mean, I was scared. It was like, am, am I going to make it? And now, you know, life is life's moving around me now. Life's evolving around me now. This process has been the best things ever happened to me in my life this far. Ten months ago, I weighed 300 pounds. I was a size 24, 26. I didn't like the way anything fit me, and I didn't like the way anything looked on me, and I refused to admit to myself that I was that size. And today, I'm a size 12. It just used to fit me. <laughs> it's crazy. The last four months, I moved into my new apartment, and um, I started dating a guy. OK, hey, everybody. Dancing, it's fun and it's, you know, it's a good cardio workout. It's good for your heart and, I mean, it's exercising and having fun at the same time. You know, it's something different compared to what I used to do before. Before, you know, going out was about getting drunk, getting wasted. And now I enjoy going out and having a few drinks with my friends, but I'll have three or four, not 12 and 10 shots like I used to. Ashley's biggest obstacles were definitely her withdrawals from drinking, smoking, eating. My concern would still be that since that was such a problem in the past, she really needs to make sure that's not something she's visiting often. I'm ready! <laughs> oh, how's my favorite present in the world? OK. You look good, Mama. Thank you. Yay. I want to catch up on everything. Three, four days a week, I come to the gym. Um, I've done another 5K, and then I have a 10K coming up at the end of this month. So you're 30 pounds from your goal. Mm -hmm. And we're talking this is all like in less than a year. Yeah. You're amazing. You're amazing. <laughs> Thank you. OK. So show me what you got here in the weight room. I want to see what you do. I remember when we started on these, though, I'm pretty sure I was at 25 pounds. Are you serious? Yes. Okay. And now wow. we're at 85 pounds. It's nice. Ashley is making it happen. Look at that. Look at me sitting up straight. <laughs> Living on her own, working and working out, I mean, it's hard to get everything in. She's finding balance and still making progress, so that tells me that she has made change and that she is successful. I, I knew there was going to be change when she stepped on that scale. Hot. OK. So originally, 296.5. Yep. You left the resort 205. Let's see where you are today. One ninety-five point six. All right, that's ten pounds. You've still yes. completely progressed forward. Well, that's Yay! It. This is a good day. Her progress now—it's been slower and steadier, but that's okay. Mwah. Mwah. This is a lifelong change. She's headed in the right direction. You stretch? Do I stretch? No. <laughs> Can you go like this? <laughs> that's okay. I, I do feel like 10 months ago, I was at one of the lowest places that I've ever been in my life. I was drinking all the time, eating all the time. I was living with my parents. All right, you ready? We'll start off slow. OK, well, now we're going to pick up the pace, OK? Come on. He quit smoking. He quit drinking. There, look at that. Look, there you go. That's good. You know, with my weight loss, I have inspired him to get healthy. And, you know, we both have changed our lives and for the better. Come on, Dad. Well, I'm sick and tired of being overweight. You have the strength inside of you, and you can do this. A year ago, I did not think that uh, I would ever see me and my dad walking around a park together. It's awesome. It's such a great feeling. She looks wonderful. And she keeps losing more, and she's going to help me lose some. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I would love more than anything to help other people. Like, that's always been in my heart. I am inspired to be a personal trainer, and I'm going to take the steps necessary to get my certification. You know, I'm 100 pounds less than I was 10 months ago. It's just by eating healthy and exercising and doing the work. Like, you have to do the work. It's not just magical pill takes it off. 
Remember, keep moving your arm. 10 months ago, I was severely obese, miserable. We're gonna go to our side, okay? But now I have taken back control of my life. All right, give yourself a hand clap. <laughs> I eat when I'm happy, I eat when I'm sad. Regardless of how I'm feeling, I'm just gonna eat. I'm a food addict. And with my weight, it's just, it's holding me back. This is my blood pressure medicine. Uh, one of my antibiotics I take. When my legs are hurting me real bad, I take pain, these pain pills. My circulation is bad, my legs swell. The lymph fluid, it swells up so much that it finds a place in my skin to come out. If I don't get a handle on it, if I don't get help, I'm gonna die. I don't want my dad to have to bury me. Three more, come on. Don't you stop it. Let's go. I knew it was gonna be really, really hard, but it was harder than what I thought it would be. 17, there you go, come on. Ricky is a big drama queen. He does not give enough in his workout sessions. <laughs> I was really nervous. Just which way is he gonna go? Not sure, is he gonna quit? I feel like I caused my mom's death. Is that what you wrote? Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. My mom was real, real sick uh, with her diabetes and lupus and you know, I took her up the stairs, helped her up there and put her in the bed and the next day, you know, looked at her face and she was blue, blue. Ricky Wayne has struggled with emotional ups and downs. And it is a problem with unresolved issues. As a result, he went to food to medicate it. I think that's a major part of my problem. I can't get past that. What's up, Ricky? I just want to get up the arm today, man. Why? You know, the first thing I look for when I'm to, trying to is someone right to come now, and today, talk to me. Today, I do not. I do not give a shit about any of this today. Okay. I fucking don't. I, I just don't fucking care. Why? Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ricky Wayne, I mean, one day this guy is the happiest man on the face of the planet. Then the next day, he's a completely different person. <sighs> 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 Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Yes. <laughs> Sorry for this morning. I won't ever let you down again, I promise. It's been a struggle this past few weeks, but it's like everything has totally changed for me. Challenge yourself so I can help you. There we go. My stamina's gotten better. I'm stronger. My energy level has gone up tremendously. Go on. Go on. When you came to us, you originally at 555.5. 507, baby, 507. <laughs> Ricky Wayne had some great results in the first 30 days, but he had a lot of challenges at home. I think they had him down here. Maybe I'm the wrong. One of his biggest was learning a new diet. It's hard because having an eating disorder, that temptation is always going to be there, no matter what. Ricky Wayne returned to the facility for more help. He didn't feel ready to tackle a new life after the first 30 days. He picked up right where he left off. He really went for it. I really hope that he does take with him the tools that are necessary for him to become successful in life. He has to show that all the help has been all worth it. This is his last chance to make a true lifestyle change. Hey, everybody. I'm home. Hey, Why, hey. hello, stud. Yeah. Oh, look at you. Step right on for me. Ricky, you are at 427.8 today. You're 127.7 pounds. Yes. <laughs> this has been, it's been life changing, life saving. I've, I've prayed all my life for this, for just a chance. If somebody gave me a second chance, that's all it takes.
10 months ago, I was sitting on the edge of my bed and basically had my computer keyboard resting on my stomach and surfing the net pretty much 10 hours a day. And when I first started, there was no way I was able to do this. I don't think I could even do 10 pounds. I still consider myself in the program. I craved that workout and I never thought that I would actually say that. I never, I never want to get rid of this because it's sentimental. My grandmother got this for me and it engulfs me now too big so this is my belt that I you know that I couldn't wear before I started the program oh look at that I can go further with, with the notch I probably just need to get a new belt I feel incredible now I have no anxiety to go into a grocery store I'll take that you take this okay having those tools with me it's helped so much more now so we're having uh, zucchini and squash zucchini and squash yeah and a uh, spinach salad Remember this? It was like three of these. And how many servings per box, though? There's six. <laughs> that's what and I'm I saying. Was, yeah, I was eating a whole six. That's exactly right. Okay. I will always be a food addict. If I let my guard down, it'll take control back over. So I'm constantly aware that, hey, if there's food around, put your guard up. I mean, yeah. you were almost bedridden. Well, You're living know. again. Oh, that's what you're doing. So. I, I don't think I've ever truly, truly lived like, like I am now. I really don't. Hey, we're back. That weight controlled his life. And now he's just, he's got energy, he's got a future. And just the lives he's touched just in his family is just amazing. Okay, when you cut the bell pepper up, just slice it. My brother Brian, he's been eating healthy, eating right, and it's gone from 268 to like 190. Yes, you have to eat the bell peppers. Be a trooper, try something new. Me doing basically 90% of the cooking, you know, I said, look, you either eat my way or you don't eat. That's great. Right my dad he's been really supportive and, and said hey look you're trying to change you know and i'm going to do it with you i was weighing over almost 370 pounds and this past friday i was 314.6 that's you know mainly because of him i like the seasoning the light like salt i used it just a little bit for the, for the corn ricky wayne started encouraging others getting people involved in fitness his family members starting to lose weight so now He's held accountable to living up to those expectations. Hello, hello, hello. What's up, man? What's up, man? Hi. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me see what's going on around. When I saw Ricky Wayne, I mean, my jaw did drop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come on, you, you, you got to let me be excited about it. You gotta oh, let yeah, me I'm be excited happy. too. Yeah. The guy looks amazing, man. He really does. Show me a little bit of the routines that you go through. I mean, I like to, you know, start off like doing my back and stuff like okay. that. Okay. Wow, good job. There you go. Look at you, Rick. All right, Ricky Wayne. Four. Show me how you would do 20 reps. Mine, mine always go out here. Good. I like how you, man, good form there, man. But, uh, so a lot of people in this area know you, right? Oh, yeah, a lot of people know me. Going into my local uh, grocery store, you know, mm -hmm. and they'll come up and they'll go, do you know the phrase, leave me alone? And I just smile, you know, or, <laughs> or somebody say, hey, you know, you're the guy on TV that's lost, you know, weight. And, you know, mm -hmm. it feels good that I can actually help somebody else out. Mm -hmm. Everyone's watching him. Everyone's asking him questions, but he was excited about that. Well, on Saturdays, I host a uh, boot camp at my local high school. The first uh, group I had, I had like 52 people. Excuse me. So, and I'm actually doing one tomorrow, too. 52 people? Yeah, so I can help them at home and help as many people as possible, and this one will do. He really wanted to give back what he got, and he did. Okay. So where's where the scale at? No, it's right over here. And now he's held accountable to this new life he has. He's held accountable to what he wants to do. This is awesome, man. 365.4! <laughs> I definitely believe Ricky Wayne has made a lifestyle change. There's no questioning it. That guy is all in. Can I get three times? Yep. All right, bust. Then those crossbody punches. What you're trying to do, y'all keep punching, you're trying to twist. My biggest accomplishment so far is being a motivator for people, being an inspiration. Trying to get your knees bent a little bit like you're riding a horse, sort of. I got to thinking, you know, I'm giving this opportunity to change my life. And so my whole thing is to pay it forward. Come on, Brandy, I'm looking right at you. You're doing good, girl. You're doing good. I'm not perfect at it. I'm not a trainer. I'm just out here to work out, and you're working out with me, and we're having a good time. Everybody take time out, get you some water. These are what I used to squeeze into. So, as you can tell, another person could fit in there. So I want to prove it. Down in here. Whoa! I literally, I've lost a whole person. You weigh what? I weigh 190. 190, and I've lost 190 pounds. I was carrying this around. Thanks for inspiring me. Hey.
this time last year, he was in the, literally in the hospital fixing to lose both of his legs from the circulation. To see him a year later, to be at the way he is now, it's amazing, and it's it's all him. You see somebody that's way bigger than you, and he said, if he does it, you know, why can't he do it, you know? I would never thought about the million years I'd be leading a boot camp. Being an influence on my, my family, and we're inspiring people to change their lives. I've taken back control of my life. And I'm so very proud of y'all. We're proud of you, Ricky. Thank you. Yeah. I believe my future will be helping as many people as possible to start their journey to change their life and giving them a sense of freedom like I was given. I love each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all dearly for coming out. Thanks, brother.